I'm not going to waste your time. Here's the only guide you'll need to build that aesthetic body. So grab a piece of paper and a pen, and let's begin. First, you have to understand what an aesthetic body is. An aesthetic body is a specific type of physique that focuses on looking good. It's lean and muscular, with symmetrical proportions, kind of like a Greek god. It's not too bulky, but it's not too skinny either. An aesthetic body is the physique that women want, which will make you more attractive. This physique consists of certain muscles that stand out and need to be trained. To achieve this physique, you need to train your back, upper chest, shoulder, traps, abs, and biceps. To get an aesthetic body, your goal is to achieve a V-taper, which means having wide waist-to-back proportions. To achieve the V-taper, you must train your shoulders and your lats. Now that you know what an aesthetic body is, I'm going to teach you how to get it. And yes, it is more than possible. Step 1. Workout. Here's the ultimate blueprint for all of the key workout elements so that you won't make the same mistakes that I did. Begin by hitting the gym three times a week. You'll have exactly two workout types. These are push and pull. The push day consists of training all of the upper body muscles used to push the weight. These are the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. The pull day is the exact opposite. It consists of the back, the biceps, and the traps. You're going to alternate the pull and the push day in those three days a week where you're working out. So if you start day one with push, you'll do pull the next time and so on. Let me show you the best exercises you'll do for push and pull so that you'll make progress as soon as possible. Let's start with push. Here, we have to train the chest, shoulders, and triceps. For the chest, I like to split my training into two muscle groups, the upper chest and the lower chest. The upper chest rounds up your physique, while the lower chest fills your pecs up and makes it look fuller. For the lower chest, I recommend the decline bench press and the dips. These isolate your lower pecs really well. For the upper chest, do an incline dumbbell press. Let's move on to your shoulders. The shoulder isn't one full muscle. It's divided into the front, the side, and the rear delts. But to achieve an aesthetic body, focus primarily on the side delts. These actually make you look wider for the V-taper. For the side delts, only do lateral raises. It's by far the best shoulder exercise, as it isolates the delt really well. For the triceps, do these two exercises, overhead tricep extension and cable press down. They are essentially the same movement, so you can choose which one you prefer. When you do these exercises, the key is to try to put all of the weight on one muscle as much as possible. So avoid trying to use other muscles to help you push the weight up, because then you're not targeting the muscle group properly. For example, when you do overhead tricep extensions, don't use your wrists to help you push the weight up. Focus all of the force on the triceps, and I promise it'll make a huge difference. When I started doing this, my gains grew exponentially. Enough talk. This is what you'll do for pull. Pull consists of the biceps, the back, and the traps. Let's start with the biceps. They fill your arms and make you look dominant. There's only one movement you should do, and these are curls. Whether you do them with dumbbells or with a barbell, that's your personal preference. So start by doing normal curls, and make sure you keep your shoulders still as much as possible. The only thing moving the dumbbell are your biceps, not your back or your wrists. After that, do hammer curls. These don't train the biceps, but another muscle called the brachialis. The brachialis makes your arm look wider and thicker from the side. For the back, focus on the lats. These make your back wider, giving you the V-taper. For the exercise, focus on lat pulldowns. I consider this exercise a game changer because you don't have to stand up like for rows, which allows you to concentrate more on the actual movement. For the traps, do barbell shrugs. The traps are a big part of your back, which give you extra definition near your neck and your shoulders. Training them will make you look more masculine and aesthetic. Step 2. Diet. Obviously, you need proper nutrition to build muscle. You cannot renovate an old house without enough new materials. So, it is essential that your diet is right. I know so many people that go to the gym consistently four, five, or even six times a week and don't see any progress. And little do they realize that their problem is their diet. So if you are currently watching this video and you're working out without seeing any progress, I can guarantee that it's your diet. So this is going to be your next step. You have to go on a bulk. Bulking means eating more calories than your body needs so that you gain muscle. Here's the ultimate step-by-step -step guide to bulk properly. First of all, you need to make sure that you don't aggressively bulk. Try to gain somewhere between three to four pounds of weight every month. Anything more than that will just make you gain more fat and you won't look attractive. Rather, Going on slower bulk is going to be way more intelligent because you'll gain less fat and you'll be leaner.
The worst thing that can happen is you going on an aggressive bulk and gaining unnecessary fat, which will make you feel insecure and unconfident. I promise you, you'll lose motivation and you will give up. The next key element is to never dirty bulk. Yes, bulking means eating more calories, but that doesn't mean that you'll eat junk food and come up with the same excuse. You'll have to consume more clean foods that will actually help you put on muscle. If you dirty bulk, you'll just gain unnecessary fat and you can forget getting that aesthetic body. So that I don't waste your time, here are the best clean bulking foods that you should use in your diet. Beef, chicken, eggs, cheese, nuts, oats, and pasta. Just pause the video and write all of that down. Normally, all of this information is all you need to get an aesthetic body. But I don't want to be like any other YouTuber and tell you the most basic information. So, to save you from even more hassles, here's a key tip that skyrocketed my physique. When you're working out, always focus on proper form rather than weight. I know it's tempting, but you have to start with lightweight with higher reps while maintaining a good form rather than few reps with heavy weight and poor form. You see, not many people out there will tell you that to get an aesthetic body, you have to train for aesthetics, not for strength. And that's something many people get wrong, which is exactly why they fail in the gym. You need to understand that muscle mass does not equal strength right away. You can either train for muscle mass or train for strength. But since you're trying to look good and have that David Laid aesthetic body, you need to train for muscle mass. And that means training with lighter weight for higher reps and with excellent form. That's literally the key to getting an aesthetic body. So instead of maxing your bench and getting only two reps, use lighter weight with perfect form and with high reps, you will build muscle. To add even more extra value, let me tell you about progressive overload and training till failure, two key elements that are necessary for an aesthetic body. Let's start with progressive overload. Progressive overload is the process of gradually increasing the difficulty of a workout each week so that your muscle is constantly under pressure. If you never increase the weight, your muscles will not grow because you have gotten stronger with that specific exercise. In other words, the workout will be too easy for your muscles. So, progressive overload will provide constant pressure on your muscles, which will result in growth. The other element is training till failure. That means that for each set of an exercise, you are training as hard as possible and giving your best so that you only stop when you cannot physically lift the weight anymore. This will make your muscles highly fatigued, which will make them grow. If you want an aesthetic body, don't follow other people's workouts with a specific amount of reps in each set. Everybody is different, so you just need to forget that and do as many reps as possible until you physically cannot lift it anymore. That's the key. If this video was valuable, then check out my YouTube channel. I make videos for people exactly like you, so what are you waiting for?